I think we live in a world today which is dominated by myths. Some of these myths go right back into early history. A lot of them come from Middle and Central and Eastern Europe. And I think we're still living with a great many of those myths. And they permeate our present society with agendas. And people use these agendas to manipulate us, like the newspapers, like the news media. We're all being manipulated all the time with misinformation. Don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. So many of the things that we are bombarded with are bombarded because of someone else's agenda. Okay? Um, I'm trying to uh, put it in such a way to express human nature. Human nature shows that we are fragile and vulnerable. And human nature hasn't changed from the very beginning of our history as human beings to the present day. What dominates us? Love, hate, war, sexual jealousy, greed, etc., etc. Nothing has changed. Only the culture around us has changed. None of these things. What is it that we're all looking for? Well, I can tell you from my point of view and at my time of life, I'm looking for a little bit of peace. Leave me alone from the chaos of the outside world. All right? The outside world is dominated by tribal behavior, whether that be politically tribal or whether that be um, religious tribalism. Do secret societies exist? Of course they do. Of course, anything that we don't know when a, where a group gets together is secret to us. We don't necessarily need to know what those secrets are. What are secret societies? General Motors? Coca-Cola? Volkswagen? What do we need to know about these secret societies? So wherever you get a group of people that conjoin, you will get to the outsider, a secret. We are institutionally tribal. And that's what the culture of, that we're going through at the moment, that's what our media is dominated by. It's dominated by tribalism. Arab against Jew. Jew against Arab. Christian against etc. Everyone is against something else because they think that they have the answer. Like these people that you were showing me before who proselytize. They have an agenda. They are trying to sell us something. They're trying to tell. Maybe they're doing it just for their own ego. Okay? I've come to the point in my life where I sit down, I have a center of gravity, and I can see the world throughout my lifetime and see that nothing actually changes. Just the media and the culture surrounds us. I was thinking of writing a book recently because of several experiences that I had. And one of the major experiences is watching children walking down the street with their eyes glued to an app or a telephone. They can't see left. They can't see right, they can't see up, and they can't see down. They see only what's on that screen. And you talk to me about education of children. What is happening to those children? What are they missing? What is happening on the left? 
Is there a car crash on the left? Are people talking to each other? What are they seeing? That is what I fear for. But then throughout history, we have always been fearful of something. And the world that we live in spreads fear. It earns money for organizations, for newspapers, for private people, for religions. People are always selling something. And what are they selling? Fear. Fear of what would happen. Fear of the shortness of our lives. Fears of cancer. All genuine fears. Fears of bombs. We're living in a situation now where I turned on the news this morning to tell us that nuclear reactors are going to be built in this country by the Chinese. That's really very interesting. Chinese were once our enemies. Are they our friends or are they our enemies? I have no idea. All I know is you put a nuclear reactor in this country operated by computer, you might have a bomb sitting right there and somebody in Beijing can press a button and the whole world can blow up. That's more fear. Investment, investment bankers, banking collapse, we are surrounded by chaos, and in this age of technology and manipulation and instant communication and instant gratification, what are we getting? What are we losing? We're losing our sense of self. So people who come up with answers have, their, have these agendas that are manipulative. I'm repeating it because I can't. I can't say it profoundly enough that somehow to find your own way through this chaos is a very difficult journey indeed. And it's one that at my time in life I'm still struggling with, but somehow I've kind of given up a little bit because I think that it's way out of control. That's, that's what I'm thinking at this moment.